welcome back students to one more session of your physical chemistry chapter so i have done with metallurgy chapter we have completed every corner of your textbook so that is prescribed for your syllabus and uh, after that i have done the board questions of your metallurgy chapter now i'll be starting with this chapter so uh, please uh, note basically your inorganic chemistry p block and dnf block you have all sorts of reasoning questions let us discuss the index first and i'll try to complete this chapter along with the board questions so let us see the index so when we come back to dnf F block elements for your grade 12 exam the weightage for this chapter is 5 marks so 5 marks is the weightage for this chapter and you will be getting one long answer from this so you have essay 1 type short answer type 1 short answer type 2 like that isn't it now you will be getting this as long answer only right so that long answer they, it can be again subdivided into 5 parts 1 mark each so that you will not lose that 5 marks in that or it can be 2 and 3 marks also so the topics which I am going to discuss in your D and F block of the periodic table is I'm going to discuss with the general configuration. So how am I going to do this chapter? Suppose if I'm going to discuss the general configuration, I'll be listing out all the questions which are asked under that. So what do you do is whenever I'm uploading a video, try to complete studying on the same day because uh, suppose if I'm done with this question, right? All the questions, whichever question is relevant for the board exam, whichever I, I, I feel it is important, whichever I feel you have to study, I'll I have a uh, collection of all these things. Everything will be uploaded after that if i'm discussing melting and boiling point all the questions related to that will be uh, given the uh, lecture like that please try to complete on daily basis maybe in sometimes i may club two topics and give all the questions at a stretch so let us start so in d and f block as we know in the periodic table which is divided into s block p d and f right so this particular topic of d and f your transition metal elements yeah and the inner transition metal elements we are going to study the general configuration and you have list of trends for this you'll be studying about the melting point boiling point again questions on that atomic size ion excess how is it uh, increasing or whether it is decreasing graphically as well as questions also then oxidation state very important topic we'll see how many sorts of oxidation states and you'll have a lot of questions based on that next ionization enthalpy we'll be studying the trends of ionization enthalpy one ionization enthalpy two why is this less in that why is that more in that why should what uh, what is the reason for uh, uh, it's decrease in ionization enthalpy to everything I'll be doing and next electrode potentials I'll also tell you based on these electrode potential how can I decide whether the particular metal is a reducing agent or not so I'll teach that concept also formation of interstitial compounds simple topic it is and alloy formation that also combination of two metals uh, two, two or more metal forms alloy isn't it I'll show you that topic also I'll also include a topic called color property yes I'm not mentioned here because I'm going to teach in, in a, a part of one more topic so interrelated to that after that you have two important compounds of dnf block which you have to study and they've been asking this every time so what are those we are going to study about potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate i'll teach you the preparation of dichromate and came in a fourth i'll teach you what are the properties chemical properties of both clearly ionic form also so very keen observation is very important and i request you to study on daily basis otherwise i will be completing it and uploading the video so that they should not be i think we should not lag in the syllabus yes after that i'll come back to the f block elements f block are again divided into lanthanides and actinoids lanthanides the element the elements which are placed below the periodic table so lanthanides we're going to study and about actinoids we're going to study the general topics like electronic configuration what is penultimate shell what is the outermost shell or what is a uh, where is the electron entering and will you also be studying about atomic and ionic size trend this is the topic where you're going to study lanthanide contraction very easy question but very important question in f block lanthanide contraction and actinide contraction also we're going to study and after that i'll be studying the show, uh, teaching you the variations in oxidation state once this is done we'll come back to the chemical properties of lanthanides and actinides i'll give you in the form of a flow chart so that it is easy for you to remember then comes the differences between lanthanides and actinides very simple question and once i'm done with this topic once i feel that every question has reached you and every question uh, i if i feel that every okay the child has upgraded himself to himself or herself to the board exam this is done till then i'll be doing all the questions in all the topics and important thing once i'm done as you know my way of teaching i'll be completing with the board questions also right so let, it, let me meet you again with the 
the first topic electronic configuration where i'll be doing all sorts of important questions which are required for your board so meet you again in the next session that is your lecture one of your dnf block elements